you untangle a small lamb from a bush. As you gently cradle his head, you rub oil on his forehead. Rising, you notice a strange sight. There's a firelight coming from around a rocky outcrop. The firelight itself doesn't seem strange. After all, things catch on fire easily in the dry heat. What is strange is that you passed by this place earlier this week and saw the firelight then, but it hasn't grown and it hasn't gone out. Come to think of it, you passed by last week and it was the same then too. You quickly glance around to check the other sheep. You have never seen the flock so at peace. They're resting in the shade of a large, rocky hill, and hardly a bleat can be heard. Amazed, you turn back toward the firelight. Drawn inexplicably toward it, you move with a measured caution. Now around the bend, you see a thorny bush. Nothing remarkable. It's just like every other bush around. It is on fire from within. However, this bush is not being consumed by that fire. As you stare at it, you can see flames and sparks. You can see and smell the smoke rising from the bush. And you can feel the heat of it. Remarkable. You decide to investigate how this bush can be on fire, yet not be consumed in any way. As you edge closer, you are overwhelmed with a sense of a presence. You look around to see if there's anyone that you missed. No one. Taking a deep breath, you begin forward again. Suddenly, a voice, not booming or frightening, but reassuring and almost musical, says your name. Moses. Moses. You drop to the ground, afraid. You still see no one at all, but you answer, here I am. And the voice says, do not come any closer. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. You hide your face and reach down to remove your sandals. And the voice continues. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Has this God become your God? Is he speaking to you? Listen. What would you like to say to him right now? his response. Do 
Jesus. Thank you so much for being the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But most of all, thank you for being my God. Thank you for being our God. And Father, I just pray for these ladies this morning as they go to their core groups. I pray, Lord, that your voice would speak into them, that they would hear from you today, that they would know beyond a shadow of a, of a doubt that they have spoken with the God of the universe who loves them beyond anything. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you are and everything that you do. In your precious name, I pray.